Do you ever just meet people who are a certain type of stupid and you don't know how they've lived that long? Because I'm a very honest and open person. <clears throat> people like that about me. But they think because I'm an open book that they can play me. And I will tell niggas it's like, one, I'm mentally insane. I've been threatened with multiple restraining orders and fought multiple people. Two, uh, I'm a sex worker. Three, I'm a gold digging whore, aside from being a sex worker, even in normal dating. Uh, four, if you're trying to manipulate me, I'm going to fucking notice. You are not slick. Oh, and five, I'm celibate as fuck. And I'm not trying to have sex, because when I try to have sex with people, I get dangerous, and it's not healthy. And then they will still fix their pretty little heads to be like, hmm, you know what seems good today? I should, like, try to fuck Tamiya over. I will not ask for much. I even tell niggas it's like, I'm one of those people that's a bit overly accepting. It's actually fucking not a good trait of mine sometimes i'm realizing that now simply put just come as you are be honest about your intentions with me be honest about what you want but do niggas want to do that no because it's not fun for them they want to try to like do a chase they want something for their ego they want to be weird and it's like despite it being like hey she has multiple training orders that end against her she's fucking nuts they still want to try their luck i fucking hate that shit because then those same weirdos want to do like manipulative ego weird mind game bullshit and then it fucks with my already un like unstable shaky as fuck mental health and then they want to complain like oh no why are you calling my grandmother leaving her weird fucking voicemails about everything bad i've done to you why the fuck are you on my linkedin telling people at my job how much of a fucking cunt i am maybe because that was your active choice the entire time even like not big scale like smaller scale shit it's like okay so you really thought that you would have luck with the gold digger who's mentally unstable who just wants people to be nice to her and you went hmm i should try to be as weird as possible i actually told dude recently on a date like before we met up like i let him know a list of all the things i absolutely cannot stand both because of my autism and just for me as a person in general he was also autistic he was like i'm gonna take this list seriously absolutely guess what like one of the things on the list was how i hate when people smell bad this nigga showed up actually the worst smelling i have ever 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 smelled a person to be and that's saying something i used to share a bedroom with my grandmother who used to rub her shit on walls her shit stained hands Ooh. And she used to chain smoke, so if you smell worse than her, then Jesus fucking Christ. How do you even smell like that on accident, really? And then guess what? He was rude as fuck. Extremely arrogant. Extremely pompous. Snarky. Strange. And it's like I was never asking him for much, but then guess what? Then he got all salty because I didn't even talk to him on the way home. I didn't say shit to him. He just found out the hard way when he saw me posting online about the shitty day he gave me. And that was someone who's known me for like somewhere between three to five years and shit. So it's like, you know, you know everything I hate, you know everything I like, and that's what you chose to do. Also, I was thinking about this in the bathroom of the burger spot I was in. Simply put, some niggas really do think that they're different. Like you could give them a handbook on like all the things that a man has done that is amazing. And a handbook on all the things you could do that would be massively shitty. And they will just mix them up. Or hell, you could even directly hand them one single handbook. It's like, hey, have fun getting to know me, but here's a list of all of my triggers and everything I hate. And they will read it and go, hmm, this is a handbook on how to treat you. Like, some of them have, they're stupid and ego-filled. They'll just be like, oh. Well, turns out, Tamina's last ex-boyfriend was trying to do inappropriate touchy shit to her in her sleep that really traumatized her. So I can probably get away with it, right? No! Because then they tune out the part where there was consequences. The consequences is Morgan has a scar on his back that is permanent and he cannot remove. And he has trauma. He flinches whenever he's near me a little too close if we're not having sex. And then you want to think that you're fucking different? Or it'll be dudes who have like big social media followings trying to be all, ooh, maybe you could hang out at my place and like listen to music with me sometimes. Maybe you should uh, take a fucking short leap off a long cliff. Because why the fuck do you think I'd go, yippee, I should just give it up to this guy just because he's got 100k followers. I don't give a fuck how many followers you got, bitch ass nigga. It doesn't change the fact that you're a pill popping asshole. You haven't done shit for me. You never gave me a copy of that book you actually promised to give me years ago, fuck you. And you also see me going out to all these fancy restaurants, all these fancy venues, and you really thought that you had a chance to just swoop in, cut the line of all the people who want me, and just be like, hey yo, like just disrespectful brain worms
they always want to do what the last nigga did that hurt me and then they'll be dumb enough to think i can do that shit too and i won't face consequences you will face the exact same consequences if not worse like why are you boohoo crying about it too like it's like watching someone enjoy a bike ride and then choose to like throw a stick in the spokes and then they crash on their face break an ankle and then they're like oh my god samia did this my favorite type of people are the smart ones the ones where it goes oh she's gotten this type of treatment from a guy before i should do this that's what the smart ones do and they'll go to me it says that julia is her favorite fucking things to always get from a man and she lists her reasons why so i will get her jewelry and they'll pay attention to the good shit because they have good intentions it's like oh i like tamir she's so soft let me buy her skincare products let's go to the mall sometime she likes sunlight and flowers let's take her to a rose garden on a beautiful sunny day that's smart shit a dumbass nigga with bad intentions will do dumbass shit that is just like evil as fuck and then have the nerve to get shocked that oh no this didn't benefit me because they want to try their luck let them die alone peace out